Now we're going to do the difference between a Dutch Shepherd and a Belgian Malinois. This is Freya. She is my Dutch Shepherd. Uh, lots of drive. It's a working dog. Um, there's not too much in uh, show line Dutch Shepherds. Never really heard that exist. So, same kind of deal. And you can see the Dutch Shepherd has a brindle coat to it. Black mask. Really eager to please. Come on. Come here. Big dog like a German Shepherd. Dutch Shepherds can get really big. Come on. Freya, sit. Good girl. Really easy dog to train. And you want to use these for, uh, these make really great protection dog and really good sit dogs. Freya, come on. Sit. Down. Sit. Down. Good girl. Really easy. We do some focus on her. We get Freya to look. Freya, look. Good girl. Come on. <laughs> Freya, come here. Come on. Good girl. Sit. Another dog that has to be trained, okay? Before we got Freya, she didn't really walk on leash. She didn't know how to. Now she's walking on leash really good. And uh, we'll be doing extra training with her. She really, Freya really loves doing sit work. Freya, sit. Good girl. So this is what your typical um, Dutch Shepherd looks like. This is what a Dutch Shepherd's gonna look like. They're gonna look like this right here. All right. They do come in black. They do look like the same color as mouse. You'll see uh, Kodak in a minute. Dutch Shepherds look like that as well. A lot of breeders mix a Dutch Shepherd with the Belgian Malinois. So sometimes, it, to me, they're the same dog, right? This is what you wanna talk about when you start about leash training, is when you move your dog moves, right? Girl, reinforce the behavior with a treat. Um, that shepherds are really active, so you have to train with them 24/7, right? So Freya is just learning how to heal. So when we start doing that heal, we're going to come around, we want to come up, we want to bring it back down, and have it sit next to us, and then pop it in her mouth, right? So the the action looks like this in the beginning. Freya, come on. I'm gonna move around with her, force her on me. I want her touching me when she does it, just like that. And I wanna, so that she touches my body, I wanna go ahead and um, reward her because I wanna get her into focus. Now, good thing to do with Malawas, Dutch Shepherds, and Working Line Shepherds is focus. You don't wanna give them a command unless they're looking at you. Freya. Sit. Good girl. Just like that. You want complete focus, right? So she starts learning that she has to look for you for guidance. Freya. Good girl. You see it? I didn't even have to say sit. I'll do it one more time. As soon as she looks at me. Freya. Good girl. Easy dog to train. You can show them anything in five seconds. This is your Dutch Shepherd. If you're thinking about buying one, do think about a training plan for these dogs. If you do not have a training plan, it is going to go bad. These dogs have to be trained and they need to be trained by a professional. Frail used to be in a backyard, digging up mines and holes and everything. And they couldn't walk her on leash. And she was really active. Frail, sit, sit. Girl. So we bought her and she's with us. And you can see a whole different dog's demeanor and everything within less than a week. So you gotta get them trained, guys. So this is Freya. We're gonna bring out uh, Kodak and you'll see the Dutch Shepherd. Uh, Freya can work off leash. I kept her on leash for the most part, just for commands. Freya, come in. Sit. And like I 
said, she's been here less than a week, so she's still learning. She's not going to be as fast as Kodak, but she's getting there. All right, so we're going to get the Dutch the Malawa out. And we're going to put the Dutch Shepherd while we showed you the Dutch Shepherd. Kodak, place. Ah, ah. Come here, place. Sit. So this is the Belgian Malawa. Color's a little darker. Most of them are really high red or uh, light red. They got a black. Good girl. I didn't drop anything. I'm on my game. Kodak Platz. Blight. So this is the this is the Malawa. Um, same everything as the Dutch Shepherd. Kodak is trained again, so we can do a lot of off-leash with her. I could have done it with uh, Freya, but I decided to keep her on leash because she's still in the learning phases of training. All right. So this is what you want to see with your Dutch Shepherd, with your Malawa and your Dutch Shepherd. Hufus, place, ah, ah, come here, probably got to use the bathroom, place, ah, she's trying to go up there, alright, place, sits, plots, here, foos, good girl, so, a lot of people like Malawas. Malawas are great dogs. They're really easy to train. But before you get to that point, a Malawa can drive you crazy. They can destroy your home. They're very protective. They're very personal. And you have to know how to train the Malawa. Because once you, once you, if you get one and you have no idea, it could explode and backfire in your face. Okay. So Malawa, that Shepherd, I'm showing you the two. Both are females. Kodak. Place. Place, sits, plots. So that's your that's your Malawa, right? She's a big girl, so she's making herself small to get on that table. And I'll bring her over here. Place, sits, plots, blipe. Same deal, right? We all know she does bite work. We'll be doing some bite work with her later this evening on uh, the bungee. So you'll get to see Kodak doing some more good bite work on her. We want to build up her drive as far as how she bites and holds that bite and hit it hard. Um, but that's the difference. So if you get a Belgian Malinois and you get a Dutch Shepherd, you basically bought the same dog. And you're going to have the same problems. They both have high pitched barks. They both love the jumpy. They're very chewy and they like to destroy things if they're not being trained in a productive manner to kill that drive. So very good, outstanding dogs, very intelligent. Look up your breeder. Make sure that your breeder has a good line. You have some lines out here that have been mixed inbred that are not that great. So you want to look at that paperwork. Check out the parents. Females get to about 65 pounds. She's a little bigger than the average female. She's big as a male. She's about 85, 90. And she's really tall. So their females don't get this big. Not all of them. Uh, this is the typical size of a male uh, Belgian Malinois. This is what they look like. So. Dutch Shepherd, Malawa, same dog, very good in training, good to, uh, they're not, you can have them as family dogs, but you have to really get them on the genetics. A lot of them are really one-on-one -on -one dogs for one owners, so it's not something that you want to uh, really, really think about. Uh, you want them to be around cats, you want them to be around uh, other animals, you want to have that when they're puppies. You don't want to have that when they're uh, when they get this age and decide to socialize them with those things. So that's the Belgian Malinois. You saw the Dutch Shepherd. I showed you the Working Lion Shepherd and the Show Lion Shepherd. So if you guys have any questions about the different breeding and packages and training packages we have for the dogs, you guys are welcome to reach out to us. Monica will get back to you and uh, we'll set up a program designed just for you, your family, and your dog. I'm Madison Bell. You guys be good.